A reading for Ross, 14th of November, 2010 at Derby. Reading should be good for at least 12 months, Ross. Quite strong and vibrant. Let's go through the colour work. Colours that you chose. Yellow, the orangey red, the blue, the brown, the turquoise green, the violet plum, the strange grey and the black. Uh, during the reading, if I call that green, it's just as a, a direction towards the card. We know it's turquoise green. Yellow is the colour of future, red is the colour of desire. Desire to future is specifically saying you're able to participate in anything that you need to bring progression to yourself. That which you want to do, now is the time to be doing it. If you want to make any changes within your life, if you want to find yourself dedicated to a specific object, then do so, now's the right time for you. Whether accepted or not, you're in a really good place at this moment in time. Uh, Ross, a little bit of TLC with one's physical well-being, if you don't mind. I'd like to look you looking after yourself a little bit more on a physical level. Uh, the brown of physical well-being is slightly high. It's got a number six on it, and it likes to live down there a little bit. It's not a problem, but then find need to find calm, relaxation with yourself is quite important. The green of self-esteem next to the yellow, the, next to the violet, which is fascination. Fascination with self-esteem is direction and here it's saying you will be looking for a direction in your life whether it's spiritual emotional intellectual you need to be finding a purpose and any major decisions that you have to make at this moment because of the group of colors it's guided towards saying make them to what you want for yourself if it feels right here then do it but make certain that the decisions you make are not made by the over pressure or influence of other people. Feels right for Ross, then it's right for you. So they're really strong colours. Now, in a one in a day to day environment, work, pleasure, whatever it is, you might find you're just ticking over, and you probably want to do something more progressive. Now, without doubt, is the time. Perhaps a little deep bonding one-to-one -one relationship with another might not go amiss, but we'll look at that um, in, a, in another place with the tarot. The red of desire, the red and the blue of calm combined, passion, desire and things of that nature. All of us like some of that in our life. So they're strong, vibrant colours. You've got all of the major colours in the first choice of six and the grey, strange grey and the black are correctly rejected. They need to be there. If anybody selects these colours and they start to creep up as a priority, then the person will be stuck and unable to move on in within their lives. When they're here, it's telling you, now's the time, Ross. Now's the time to be making the changes, do what you want. You're in a good place. So that's the first part. Do you want me to explain any more about the colours before I change the track? Yeah, if it was lip absolutely fabulous. Yes, really, really good. If you if that had gone to there, you'd have had the one, the two, three, the four and the five in the first selection and that would have been really strong indeed. Not necessarily. If they're numerically um in order it can mean far too organised, far too stringent to themselves, far too self-punishing. So even though in theory they look good, they're actually not open-minded enough. It, it is. It's lovely to have them mixed and blended because that means the mind is working and there's plenty of thoughts going on. You will be a person who's quite a um, precise thinker. You'll like to do things just so. If you get disorganisation in your life or you get involved with people who are disorganised, that is the time when agitation will set in. Your inner self is a spiritual self. Your inner self needs calm, it needs kindness. That's when you respond absolutely the best. Within you, 
your ability to give and to be kind is very, very strong indeed. So you need to have that balance that goes both ways. Good. So, Ross. First three cards. Ace of Vessels or Ace of Cups. The Tower, Six of Wands. When you listen to these words again on the CD, those three cards specifically say, Ross, a wish comes true, be careful what you wish for. This is called the Lord of Victory. And the Lord of Victory is all about that which one wants in life. It is a accumulation, that which you wish for, a wish comes true. The Tower tells you to grow, not build. That means be strong and dedicated within yourself, focus to yourself, contemplate very carefully what you want. And the desire may well be relationship, deep, strong bonding. That is the first key. That's the first key of all. Be careful what you wish for because your wishes will come true. Second affinity, the inner self. Three of Wands called the Lord of Established Strength. If you feel that you want to take on something that's a little bit new, a little bit changing, something that pushes you a little bit much, this card indicates hard, tenacious work is rewarded on a level. This is thinking, this is emotion, this is desire. If you're contemplating doing anything that loads you or pushes you a little bit, that benefits yourself, it will really work for you. There's nothing negative in this group of cards. Spiritual level. Stand up by your convictions, my friend. Do not allow anybody to infiltrate you with their negative thoughts or emotions. We love all this type of stuff. If somebody says to you, Ross, it's all rubbish, you say, that is your choice. I love what I do. I'm happy with myself. The guidance of us on a spiritual level is follow your inner self don't allow other people to decry you or don't allow other people to uh, allow negativity to slip within your mind. Literally, other people are entitled to their thoughts, but I'll be certain, I'll guarantee that their thoughts are wrong. Your inner self is strong. It tells you, defend yourself against the thoughts or actions of others. Be strong like the chariot and stand on your principles. You are certain to be successful in fully what you want. Difficult for all of us to follow that. It's a very difficult um, position to be, but that is the guidance that they say. There isn't any negative cards in that reading. The tower is often seen as major changes, but in actual fact, it's better to consider it as grow not build grow like a tree take your time and be strong rather than build like a building where constant repair is always needed so that's the first key perhaps you'll find this track the most interesting Ross my guide talks through me my guide says, in front of you is a highly spiritual being. Probably very mediumistic, probably extremely psychic. And as you know, there are two differences between it. Psychic is intuition. Mediumistic is the contact with the other side. You have both of those things, but you know that anyway. Good healer completes the whole scenario. You should follow that which you know. If you want to do more and more spiritual work, if you want to do mediumistic work, if you want to do contact work or anything of that nature, you have the skills, you have the abilities. You know full well, and you do know full well, that people will castigate you. People will make opinions that are incorrect. It is their choice. That which you wish to do, follow it through and your success will come to you. Sometimes you're with people and you want to tell them things, tell them. When you're with and near somebody you know is out of sorts, they don't accept or don't want to listen to you, 
just do what you do do and say help these people within your inner self is an incredible being I don't mind how potent or strong that which you have is you should be using it and have faith in using it on a long term basis you will find the happiness you require and I use the word require is that which you should have you should find yourself to be progressive and you will find the happiness that you desire you are on the right plus there are people within life all of us whether we're on the other side or as you manifest there are all of us who will have people to forgive or will have people that we have to allow to slip from our minds you will find the happiness that you require of that you should be certain be certain that everything you do you do in truth and light and do for all of the right reasons you will not fail that is the guidance that you should take follow that which you want but make certain that you follow some of your spiritual work make certain that you envelop and you expand your mediumistic and psychic feelings you don't have to speak to everybody about it but write down that which comes into your mind artistry any form of music or any form of creativity you should also have and be involved with it should bring you benefits make certain Ross that people understand your thoughts even if it's just a few simple lines don't underestimate the potency of this message let's go on to the next part of the room Ross you do need to like myself have to do a, a material Monday into Friday work we all do have to do it so if you work on your Monday to Friday still gives you time to do this as well if you're in a circle follow it through circle is a great place to be but some of the best people don't just go to one circle you might find I don't know why I should say this to you but you might find people saying well you've got to do two years to become a healer and you've got to do that you already are and that can frustrate you when people say you've got to do this and got to do that when you know you're already a healer it can be very frustrating indeed so whilst you know that you don't have to there's no such thing as a formal qualification to do any healing but people want to see it but you can heal yourself but if you're talking about doing what I do and you should be doing this because you feel and you sense very carefully indeed if you feel that you want to be doing it and ask to do it and I truly believe I say this from the bottom of my heart you should really go with it but spiritual work of any nature whether it's mediumistic which is the highest value of mediumistic work is to heal of course and then there's connection to those that are in spirit and then there's psychic work which is really really high um, intuitive work which is the plane that we're on at the moment you and I don't want to sit down of deep meditation and go into the realms of mediumistic work where we're communicating or connecting to those that have passed over in this environment there's too many people and there's too many spirits that float and can be mischievous that's not to say they're evil they just can be mischievous pick the right place to do each particular facet of your work you are completely and utterly right when you say you have to have the bills paid you've got to pay for the flat you've got to pay for your you've got to there's no argument you've got to do that and our work our spiritual work our mediumistic work it doesn't always pay the bills the, the the Lord like God whatever you want to call it has taught me that lesson extremely well extremely well so you will continue to be within your material plane 
but a little bit of work with, with this type would be really beneficial. If you're not in a circle, you should be. And there's nothing wrong with being in more than one circle. But you are right when somebody might say something to you that you feel out of sorts. Somebody's like I've already said, if somebody said, oh, you've got to do two or three years to become a healer, and you're in the cell, said, well, no, I don't want to spend two or three years of my life, then that's fine. When you're at one with yourself, then you get far, far more. You could always um, attune yourself to Reiki. If you haven't got a great deal of money, I'm not selling anything here. I don't sell anything. Lizzie uh, does Reiki attunements basically for the cost of her time and for the manuals. You can self-attune yourself. I truly believe you can self-attune yourself to Reiki. Buying a Reiki book and focusing and doing the work, you can self-attune. It's only the greedy people who have turned it into a lot of money. I worked with somebody many years ago called Richard Griffith. He wasn't a very nice man, but he was a good healer. And he was very, very good. And he wouldn't have what he used to call it certificate nonsense. He believed that all men, physically men, were healers, as a matter of course. And the best healer I ever knew used four crystals and a pendulum. That's all that person used. Oh, four crystals. Literally any crystals. And then got a fifth crystal which they put in the middle. And then they got a pendulum. held the pendulum over the middle and in his mind he said charge the crystal with healing and the four crystals that were on the outside energized the crystal in the middle and the pendulum did exactly that this one's doing. You can see my hand is absolutely as steady as it comes. And he just used to charge the crystal up with healing energy source. And when the pendulum settled down, and it did it very quickly, the same as this, the center stone was charged. And when the center chain was charged, he then did exactly what I'm going to do and said, my dear friend, Ross, there is a charged crystal of healing as a gift. And that's your crystal that's charged with healing. And he used to sit at a small table and charge two pounds of crystal because he had to cover his overheads and people used to queue up. So, simple, but you're working. When you heal, you work in the same light, same energy force as Buddha, Muhammad, the Master, Christ. You're in there. You don't need a qualification. But if someone wants to do something that's simple and easy, like my hands have started to tingle after doing that, you become a healer. And you're in the light, you're in the place you're doing something of the highest order. And when you do that, your material world, that also gets better as well. You meet the right people that fits within you. All of us, I've been in work environments where other people are under a lot of pressure. People say things they don't mean. You've got the selfish people. The Big organizations are full of them. You know all about it. But when you're here, you rise above and you let them be in their place that's how it works it does not have to be complicated the lesson that I've just shown you there truly is worth every single penny of what you've spent because you can do it and you can do it pocket full of crystals and your four main crystals and you can make up healing crystals you can put them into buildings if you wanted to 
You can put them near in people's houses or out of sort. You can give them to people if they know you're a healer. And I'll guarantee people will say, Ross, have you got one of your healing crystals, have you? And they'll ask you for them. Believe me. Ross, you are so, so right when you say formulate it in your own mind. It comes to you and do it. Why is the words or the instructions of other people, why should they be um, as right as your own way? You know, when you stand next to somebody in a, in a bus queue or you stand next to somebody in a supermarket and you feel this person's out of sorts, that's spiritual. You can equally stand next to somebody and say that person's really happy. And you know it. You become more and more sensitive to it. And that's why you become stronger. Never, ever, ever re re forget that thing that's so important. What happens? You go to the highest realm, healing, to help, to be kind to the human being. By doing that, you're at the highest point. So anything, anything that's slightly lower than that, such as clairvoyant work, clairaudient work, mediumistic work, connecting to spirit, is going to come as if by magic. Go to the highest source and then you'll get everything you want below it. And it will come to you. It's very, very important to you. The words of my guide were all about you and they were all about your mediumistic, they were all about your psychic, they were all about your healing abilities. They weren't saying to you, as I pressed my third eye, they weren't saying to you, your work should be changed, they weren't saying this. If we're all, this reading is all about you and your spirits and your spiritual work and things of that nature. That is what, and this is fantastic. And it's important, really important. Don't underestimate it really don't underestimate it Ross the concept of using runes and tarot together is phenomenal you should be doing it it's unique and it's yours you should be doing it it's unique and it's yours <laughs> 